Social and Health Psychology is an important master's program with a strong focus on self-regulation of behavior. If you look at today's society, we are dealing with big and complex issues. For example, dealing with climate change. And it's important to take human behavior into account. And this program will show you how. Hi, I'm Anneloes. I'm a social and health psychology alumna. I got interested in this master's program because I like doing research. I got the opportunity to work as a research assistant during my bachelor's. And I just remember the first time I analyzed my own data, I just got so excited. I'm Stefan and I graduated from the social and health psychology program. Um, during my bachelor, I figured out that I really enjoyed doing research. So following this program was a very logical next step for me. The program focuses on behavior regulation in the broader sense of the word. So me and my students were focusing on topics as diverse as nudging, stereotyping, as well as more fundamental cognitive research. I like the way that students and lecturers work together. In the second year, you start writing your thesis and you are integrated into a lab group. So you join the weekly lab meetings, you can present your own research. And it's a great way to learn more about what it's like to work as a researcher. Also, the environment was very international, which I think is great fun. So about 40% of my fellow students came from abroad. You will learn a lot of important skills that are becoming increasingly important in the changing landscape of open science and reproducible research. Um, you also learn a lot about statistics and general methodology. And for me, it was also very valuable and important to learn how to program. After graduating, I started working at Philips, where we were working on developing a digital neuropsychological product. Uh, and I was involved in the cognitive side of that project. Uh, and recently, I went into a different direction uh, because I started a PhD in developmental psychology. And now I focus on cognitive adaptations in people who grow up in harsh and unpredictable environments. I'm doing a PhD at Tilburg University. I study people's responses to ostracism, so when they are ignored and excluded by others. But my fellow students went in all sorts of directions. So some are doing a PhD, um, but I also know a person who works in a clinical setting. So she works as a psychologist in a hospital. Uh, another person works at a marketing research company. And another person works at the Dutch Inspection for Education. So it's really varied. The program covers many different research topics and many different methodologies, which I think makes you very broadly employable, um, both inside and outside of academia. My tip for future students would be to keep sharing your ideas about research with the people around you. Try to encourage each other because we need both criticism and optimism in this field. And the enthusiastic lecturers of this master's will help you do that.